let's take a quick look at the forecast for us here in the Bay Area, where we're going to get about 34% of that partial eclipse. And luckily, the weather's shaping out to be perfect. Right now, near Gilroy and in the southern portions of the Santa Clara Valley, there's just a little bit of cloud coverage, but that's starting to bleed off now that the sun is coming up. It's going to be a beautiful, clear day for us today. A little bit breezy, wind sweeping in from the north around 20 miles per hour at max. The rest of us are just going to notice a little bit of a breeze, and it's going to be beautiful heading into the overnight hours tonight. But let's take it a step back. Before we get to the overnight hours tonight, that eclipse is happening this morning here in the Bay Area. Like I mentioned, we're going to get about 30% for our friends over near the path of totality, and I know many people that traveled out there to see it. Here's the forecast they're dealing with right now. Not the best weather necessarily down in the south in areas like Texas, Louisiana, all the way over to Mississippi and now a little bit of Alabama. That's actually where I went to flight school. They're dealing with some really active weather right now and some cloud coverage that could impact that total eclipse viewing. Now, as we extend all the way up to the north, areas like Michigan seeing clearer conditions, cloudier skies off into areas like Pennsylvania. We'll continue to keep a close eye on that heading into the next couple hours because we're getting closer and closer to a really awesome opportunity to look up with the special glasses. Don't forget that part. Now, as we head all the way over into the East Bay, we're seeing sunshine and 70s today. The birds are all floating around the bay this morning. It's beautiful as we wake up and head out the door. Later today, we're going to be topping off at the low 70s near San Jose, upper 60s, just along those foothills closer to Los Gatos. So lots to talk about as we head into the next couple of days. I really want to dive into this week's forecast, though, because after today, what's the next most exciting thing? Well, I'm going to say high pressure moving in because we're going to warm up into the 80s for our inland areas from Wednesday into Thursday before a cold front moves in this weekend, giving us some showers, rainier conditions and Lasting into our Saturday and Sunday forecast, it's definitely going to be cooler and cloudier, too. So some big changes right around the corner for us. This is our Bay Area forecast, so close to the Bay shoreline. Marin County, for example, San Francisco County will top off in the upper 70s by Wednesday just to cool right back down into the upper 50s by Saturday. But don't worry, I'll keep you updated on that forecast and those rainfall totals for now over to you, Reed.